Hi, it's been a while since I put together a video of my pages that I've been working on. For this page I'm working with some Gimme Some Sugar which is the April feature paper from the Seasonal Expressions 1 and I'm also going to be using the March stamp of the month which is kind of a birthday stamp. I've created a collage of photographs here, so this is just one 4x6 print and I used a, an app that just puts four photos into the one because I'm just going to use smaller photos rather than four bigger photos. It's a way of getting the story on and still having the kind of clusters that I like to have on my pages. Um, you'll have to excuse any noises that you can hear. We've got some trucks out the back at the moment working on some public works stuff that's gone on on our street. They've been here all morning. Um, I feel sorry for them on a Saturday out there working and it's quite hot too. So uh, yes, yeah, so if you hear some strange noises, it's probably the trucks and vehicles working out there. So in the Gimme Some Sugar range, there are six different papers and there's two sheets of each in it and they're all double sided and I'm going to cut the papers down here to just two inches long. The final strips are going to be two by seven so if you're really good at saving your paper you might trim just two by seven out of your paper or this layout is actually a really good way to use some of those leftover strips that you might have at the end of a pack. This is just the first time I've delved into this kit for uh, the, this video. The kit also comes with some cork shapes and these shapes are hearts and some flowers. There's a packet of compliments in here and there's some white ribbon with sort of some stitching through it as well as a few sheets of cardstock. So you get quite a bit in the kits and they come to 51 New Zealand dollars. Uh, and they've basically got everything you need for a, a layout. However, I'm just pulling in the stamp of the month uh, but that you can purchase for seven dollars fifty if you've spent um, more than um, than seventy five dollars in an order with your consultant. So just trimming off these strips. They are two sided, so um, it's quite nice to be able to work out which ones you want to double up and which ones you don't. So these are going to just sit along the top of my layout, and you can see here I'm just sort of arranging, thinking about the colours and where they need to stand to sit. To be more the most aesthetically pleasing and the photos are just going to sit lower down on the page I didn't want them sitting central I wanted just that sort of a drop down effect so popping the other bits out of the way and finding my stamp so this as I said before is the March stamp of the month and I'm going to use my mat with the foam side of it and I'm going to just stamp on some more plain white cardstock because I want these images to sort of pop off the page rather than being uh, flat and lying in line with the rest of the paper. So with the acrylic blocks, just placing the stamps, choosing the right size. And I'm going to be using the archival black ink. Uh, you'll see sort of why later on when I go to do some other work with these stamps. But this is the first time I've used the stamp, so it has to be really well inked up with lots of um, good pressure. Sometimes you have to stamp a second time just to make sure it's well seasoned, but that impression was quite good. It helps having the foam underneath for a good um, stamped image as well. So I'm just going to choose three different stamps off this stamp of the month here. Uh, this is actually called Birthday Time and there is 26 different stamps on here including some numbers and some words and things that I'll also include later on but I'll be putting them straight onto the page. So I've got the stamp spray and stamp scrubber there just because next time I use them I might not want to use black so I don't want sort of the black to just colour the impression or the, the stamp that I create next time. So these are kind of uh, a little bit are they I guess pop or a bit cartoonish and the papers I'm using are quite soft and dreamy and and kitcheny kind of so it's quite a it's almost contrasting patterns and bits and pieces that I'm using here but you'll see later on that it works together quite nicely it sort of it's the sweet 16 you've got that teenage years you've got a mixture of the sweetness and you've got a little bit of spunk going on there as well so by cutting them out, I'm also able to sort of place them on the page and think about where they place better. So just playing around with them here, working out whether I want them in strips along the bottom or along the top, or a bit of both, which is what I end up doing. 
and I haven't actually stuck down those strips or anything yet I'll be doing that soon but I just kind of like when I'm putting a page together to be able to play with all the components and the pieces uh, so that I can build up an image of what it might look like when it's finished and it also gives me a chance to decide if I don't like something or if I want to change it around or put it in different places so I really wanted sort of the celebrate bit to tie in with the birthday cake picture uh, the cake my daughter actually made herself she hits about four different cakes stacked up with sprinkles all through it and she made a really nice buttercream icing that stuck them together lay it on top with a um, I think it's actually a pink chocolate icing that she put on the top there it actually was really delicious not very good when you're trying to go no sugar but never mind so she she enjoys baking her cakes and things so one of the requirements she had for her birthday was that she got to make the cake so here I'm going to stick the photos onto the other part of that white cardstock that I used before and I'm just going to cut around uh, cut around with scissors around each photograph it just gives a little bit of a border I am not a perfectionist so I didn't need to use my long trimmer to make these the perfect cuts it just tidied up and so I've done that with all four photographs and now I'm going to stick down my pad and paper I'm starting at the left lining it up across the top and down the sides uh, you could have I, I could have created these a little bit longer or bigger and hung over and then trimmed them off but again um, I'm not a perfectionist and it can just sit there quite comfortably so here all the papers are stuck on and I am getting ready to stick the photos down so I'm just going to stick each of these along the bottom I'm not going to do them in a perfectly straight line I want a little bit of craziness without being too crazy so a little bit up and a little bit down and a, so that they're not just in a completely straight line the photo of the end of my daughter with her hair sticking out at the sides shows that a straight line is probably not the most um, logical thing to have on a layout about her so I'm using our pop dot um, type things here to just lift these this writing or these stamps off the page a bit as I place them down so I'm just sitting them still in the meantime until I confirm that that's the way I want them to look like and it is quite nice you can't see it greatly in the video but you've got a little bit of texture just by lifting these pieces off the page so now I'm having a look at the compliments and thinking well which ones are actually going to fit and how are they going to sit what am I going to do with them as part of pulling this page all together I could just leave it as it is it's simple enough it's got most of the components I just need to add a story so just having a look at all these gorgeous stickers and things and working out which ones uh, will fit nicely on the page so I found this quote on here it says you don't win friends with salad and thinking about the cake and how sweet that was and and the work that Katya put into making that it's got I thought that was kind of a perfect quote to put down the bottom even though it was mainly a family birthday so I've got those words got that quote thinking about the rest of the stickers and what will fit and I started thinking the florals would look really nice but in the end when I put uh, the bits and pieces down it didn't feel right there wasn't really a huge floral component uh, in these photos uh, there were however some beautiful sweet peas that dad had cut that mum had grown that we had had on the table but they're not on these photos so these hearts look quite cute and just wanted to tie the page together and just put thought that they looked quite cute up the top as a strip so a little bit more uh, stamping thinking about the fact that she is turning 16 and again on the acrylic block I'm able to see where I might want to put these and end up putting it over the left there so you have the, the Versamat with the foam side up, inking it up. And sliding it down. Now the 16 is slightly crooked, um, but I don't actually, um, it doesn't worry me, it doesn't concern me, so that's okay. So now I'm peeling off the backs of these double-sided dots that sort of lift the, the writing and things off the page and placing them down a little bit of pressure just make sure it sticks nicely once they're there and doing that with each of them until they're stuck nicely on the page 
and now I get to play with a few more of the compliments and thinking about where I want to put them. Um, so I'm going to actually paint, I, I wondered about just leaving the writing black, I quite like the boldness of it, but I decided I just wanted to soften it a wee bit using some of the colours that you can find in the papers. And so I had a look at each of the, the words and thought about what colours I could use from the close to my heart water paints and tie them in just using the fine tip brush here it's a really good one if you are coloring in letters and words or even doing some nice journaling on a page just remember to wash off between times to change if you're changing the colors and so I decided to do celebrate um, which I'll do soon in a light green color the happy on happy birthday was sort of pulling in some of the yellows from the flowers and then the super is done in the pinky color which again pulls in some of the colors from the skimmy some sugar kit or paper range so the C for celebrate was actually quite dark and I wanted it softer than it was so I just kept dipping into the um, into that one to pull out some of the color from it rather than dipping straight back into the paint pot just to pull the color across and so just brushing that off and I decided to you to do the 16 in the more orangey tone again from those flowers in the top right of my layout there so happy with that and pulling out the compliments and the little cork shapes and things and I decided to do a sprinkling of hearts going down through the photo and sort of in between the photo of Katya with her hair out and blowing the candles out. So I was able to pull in some of the cork hearts as well as some of the pink stickers that were in there just to um, sort of drop them down the page. And I also decided to use the kind of the date stamp that I wanted to pull into the page. Again, it just sort of creates that strip without it being strippy along the top and bottom of the photographs. So having a think in, in writing on the date, but having a think here about where I'm going to put the journaling and what that might look like. And so I wondered about doing some journaling down the bottom under where I've written you don't win friends with salad but I decided to use one of the actual journaling cards that came in the pack and so I'm going to pull out the grey one typical that it would have to be one that's right in the middle so I have to trim it all down this trimmer has got a great little guideline it's got a wire down the middle so you can see where it's actually going to cut which makes it really nice for good precise cuts if you're not actually measuring uh, so in this case I was just looking at the cards and working out where to cut it. Now I decided not to use the full cut and I decided to trim off part of it instead of having the bottom so I wanted to tuck it in behind to celebrate. So you can see where I put my hand over there just to sort of again get a visual image of what that might look like. So thinking about where I'm going to write to and adding on my journaling. Just some quick notes about the birthday and about Katya choosing to make this a family party for her 16th with the cousins. And we had supper at the bottom of the garden. It was actually really nice sitting down there all sort of lounging around some pallets that we covered and um, had really nice snacks and food um, and sort of uh, little things that we could all share and eat from. And it made for quite a nice evening. And I'm going to tuck that in here and just glue that down in behind. Thanks for watching and um, I will be sharing this layout at a workshop soon.